Hi guys, um, Manuel here. I'm gonna show you guys a um, power box or um, solar generator I built from a uh, toolbox that I bought from uh, Home Depot. This is a 15 gallon um, toolbox. There's the info if you guys need it. And um, it has a 2000 watt inverter that I destroyed to make it fit uh, in here in the box. And also the uh, front part, it's right here. I have my TV connected to it. And then the, I added a third uh, uh, connection there. Also has my uh, three USB-C ports. Um, it's three USB, USB C and three uh, three point USB with uh, cigarette uh, port, uh, cigarette lighter port, and has its own switch, so you can turn this thing on and off, and that's uh, and that's on its and that's on its own. Um, it's uh, completely separate from the. Uh, from the inverter, the inverter has its own um, 150 uh, breaker, amp breaker. Also has a a uh, DC to, um, AC to DC charger with the uh, as a light indicator. That I everything is being modified, so I kind of cut all the cables and extended them to to the front so I, so I you know I can see when it's charged or when it's charging um, and then see the other part of the uh, inverter which is the fans are right there same thing I cut all the cables and resolder them and now it's on this side the fans and also the ports that I um, th this, I had to um, add this. The inverter didn't came with this kind of ports that uh, I, I bought the separate and put them in there for, uh, for in case if I need to connect it to a DC device or uh, my pop-up uh, trailer. And so it, it's working pretty nice. Um, now, on the batteries, these batteries are 50 amp hours each. There are five of them. Uh, I bought this from JAG35. Uh, There's a website. Um, the only downside, or not downside, I guess you have to do some extra work to install these BMSs on all of them. You have to do a lot of soldering you have to get all the parts, including this this board. Um, that uh, Jack Thirty Five does have all the info to get all the parts uh, to put these batteries together. Um, so I I did that. They're working fine. No no issues so far. Um, all the batteries are connected to my positive and my neg negative negative uh, bus bars there. And. See, like I said, this is a 2000 um, watt inverter. Um, I was thinking about adding a, a bigger one, but so far I'm gonna just go with this. The only thing that I, after building this box, the only thing that I did not like was this guy. This is a cheap uh, 60 amp MPPT um, that why I once I installed it, the the uh, all the panels I have uh, six panels, one hundred uh, watt each. It didn't work. Uh, it was kind of getting too hot, and it wasn't. It was missing like uh, it was discarding like fifty percent of the charge. Uh, so what I did, I bought this guy. Now this is doing its job really nice. This is a 40 amp uh, MPPT charge controller from uh, Renogy. Um, this one is great. 
I get my batteries charged every day without a problem. Um, you know, I, I use the box here at home uh, just for the TV and charge my phones and even connect my laptops to get them charged. And But that's it, it's the, the maybe um, save me a, a few bucks uh, from paying my bill. But anyway, uh, this is what I have guys and I like this box. I use it a few times camping and I don't even get to use more than 20% using lights and we have microwave and a coffee pot that uh, we use it every time we go out. So for two nights, I don't even get to spend not even 20% of this whole, uh, this, this whole box. So this is probably good for a bigger RB and rather than a pop-up trailer. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching.